While fashion might tell us what to wear, style is an expression of ourself. This is Man From Self Style Stories. One guy, three looks. Hi guys, so while well, you I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to the fourth Style Stories. I am joined by Ali Gordon. I'm sure a lot of you know Ali from YouTube, from Instagram, from being out and about. You might have seen him out and about. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here today. It's, I've given Ali a drink, so I was like, everyone else that's been on this, we've had, we've had tea, we've had water, but I was like, it's summertime, we're gonna get the spritz on the go. Um, but Ali, for those of you that don't know you, I will link everything of yours Thank down you below. Much. Tell us about you. So, I am a online creator and um, yeah, I just like to express my interests in life, whether that be fashion, grooming, or doing up the house, which mm -hmm. is something that we're working on at the moment. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm a very youthful, young, mm. early 20s um, fitness enthusiast who, ne sure. who never drinks. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's me. I should say, actually, Ali um, and Lydia, his wife, are like, YouTube, Instagram royalty. So if you do want some, no, if you not. want some inspiration for the house <laughs> and just a beautiful oh. couple that make you feel like an absolute troll, then um, then go and check them out. I but, feel like I t can't take the credit for that. No, okay. I can't take the credit for the house. We'll, we'll give it. We'll give it to Lydia. Yeah. Um, but today I want to look at your three looks that you've brought down and see how they can represent you and your style. So the first look. Tell me about that. So the first look that we went for today was, it was a very sort of smart, casual look. Mm -hmm. And I say that lightly because for me, the main focus on this looks all about the silhouette. It's all about the way in which it looks mm -hmm. on you and it enhances the features that you want it to enhance. And it's a look that I enjoy wearing a lot and it's definitely a go-to look for me. And do you quite often take one color and sort of work with that? I mean, I, I'm all in navy for a change and you've kind of done the same thing here. Is that something you feel comfortable in or do you have a set sort of color palette? I feel like navy's definitely a smarter tone to go with. Mm -hmm. I feel like it, you can kind of like blend in a little bit. Um, you can definitely play around a little bit with color with the pocket square, for example. Mm -hmm. I mean, today I played it quite safe. I went for a goldy brown. I feel like my go-to sort of block colors are navy and darker yeah. tones in general. Um, coming into the summer, I am playing around with some lighter tones mm -hmm. as well. But yeah, I definitely base my looks around colors. Yeah. And you're right, I think, in saying that because you picked one color, it feels sort of more premium and, and sort of, I suppose, classic. But uh, like, where's everything from? Because some of the things look really quite expensive. No, well, high end, high street, okay. I'd say. So the suits from Reese, mm -hmm. um, I absolutely love the fabrics that Reese use. I always yeah. feel like they feel really nice to wear. Um, and I feel like whenever you're shopping for suits, mm. it doesn't matter what suits you're going for, you always find, well, I always find anyway, personally, that I need to have them tailored. Yeah. 90% um, of my clothes I have tailored mm -hmm. uh, to fit to whichever style that I'm yeah. trying to go for at that moment in time. And do you have like one place that you take them to be tailored? Yeah, yeah. the ladies at the zip yard okay. um, where I live in Milton Keynes, they, uh, they take good care of me. And I think it's important to have, it's like a hairdresser. Yeah. It's really important to have somebody that you trust. You know that you're gonna get the results you want mm -hmm. from them. And then they can also learn as well what you're looking for. So yeah. when you go in to get your hair cut, they're like, right, I know what I need to do for this guy. Yeah. Is the synergy is the same when it's mm. with tailoring. Find a tailor that you like that works for you, mm. um, that you're comfortable going in, and also telling them when it's wrong yeah. and you're not happy with it. It's having that relationship with them. Um, the t-shirts just Zara. Okay, um, it's they're not bad. Um, I like the color match mm -hmm. to the suit. We spoke earlier about Gandhi's yes. M and S yeah. t-shirts. Uh, is it an underwear range? Yeah, those are bedtime. The crew necks. Yeah and they're so soft and they wash really well. Yeah, so comfortable to wear. So that would be a preferred uh, mm. fabric to wear, the yeah. Zara t-shirts, but I just felt the tonal match was a lot better with yeah. Zara navy. Um, the shoes that I paired up with were Boss. Okay. Um, very comfortable. Uh, you can kind of wear those with with smart and casual looks, yeah. but I feel like they've, they've given them a slightly more smart mm. look, if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. the finish on them. Because it's such a, uh, understated look 
you don't have to feel worried about, oh, I've worn this style and this nope. look before. People are gonna notice because mm. it's not like you're wearing a really layery jacket. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's quite subtle and I think you nailed it. It's got that mm. kind of like really casual bondy feel yeah. to it. And I like that. I think mm. that reflects my personality as well very well, so. Having your uniform as being something a little bit sort of easier yeah. and classier, I think is the way to go. And actually into your second look, you've kind yeah. of, You've gone from the darker navies Flipped into it. something a lot lighter. Yeah, a lot more summery. Mm. Um, and again, I think something that reflects when both those mm -hmm. looks is, it's all about having rewearable pieces, pieces that you can put into different styles. So, you know, I could have even taken the t-shirt from the second look and wore it under the suit from the first look yeah. and vice versa. You can just chop and change mm -hmm. your your outfits and yeah. by doing that you're getting so much more wear out of your items mm. of clothing which i mean ultimately um you get better cost for mm. per wear and all, all of the rest mm. of it and it means that you're getting more use out of mm. your looks so it's, it's a there's a real reason why i do go tonal yeah. and i do find when i open up my wardrobes I have my navies, mm. my darks, mm -hmm. and then I have my lights. You don't find many loud colours. No. Um, but I just feel like I get a lot more wear out of that. And white jeans, what, what are your thoughts on white jeans? Do you know what, I, when I was 19, uh, I'll see if we can find a picture, I wore white skinny jeans. Yes, and yes, it was yes. a time of my life that, although it was very fun, I, I, I look pretty bad. Um, <laughs> but I, I like white jeans. I've got a pair of sort of wider leg white jeans. I think are amazing. Yeah. They just are very hard to keep clean. Yeah, I just, I've really been loving them recently. Yeah. I feel that they pair really nicely um, with lighter t-shirts and mm -hmm. also going back to those navies again. Yeah. Blue navies, that sailor kind of vibe. Uh, perfect for holidays. If you're going away on holiday, they yeah. make a really good um, piece for the evenings when mm -hmm. you're going out for dinner and stuff. So yeah, white jeans is something mm -hmm. that I'm really trying to play a lot yeah. with recently. I think the way you've done it is the way that white jeans should be done. So white jeans or even a pair of chinos, which are super light, is mm. by wearing something like the colour you've worn in the second look or with something navy, yeah. you're actually pulling a full look up and making it again more premium. I, I find that if you're mixing it with the colour, especially like neons, which we're seeing a lot of at the moment, lots of neons. you're going very Ibiza Magaluf, which is absolutely yeah. fine and go wild for it, but I, I'm j I don't think it's like age appropriate. That plain t-shirt is so fundamental yeah. to building up that overall mm. look. Um, the texture on the stone cream yes, yeah. colour, would you say that was? Like a beige like colour? Sort of fawn? Yeah. Yeah. The texture on that t-shirt makes it, and it's, it's, the, mm. the t-shirt is just from Zara, yeah. it's nothing special, but it fits, it feels, and sort of sits really nicely. Yeah. It's really loose and relaxed. So yeah, I've, I've been playing a little bit around with, with those. It's interesting what you're saying in that um, Jordan, who was on the last Style Stories, linked yes. up there, had was talking about Sunspell and Sunspell t-shirts, and he had oh, okay. a t-shirt which was 70 pounds, which I sort of like blows my mind for a plain t-shirt. Yeah, but saying exactly the same sort of thing as, as you, which is about that, that details. Yeah. And also similarly, Similarly, let's say echoing <laughs> what you're saying there about having this wardrobe which is um, sort of pieced into colour. And actually he has a sort of similar colour palette as you, yeah. but although it has a very different style. Yeah, he which, does, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, so it, that, that's interesting in that way. Tell me actually, where, where is everything from for this look? So the shoes are from a company called East St. Carter. I think, oh God, do you know what, it was a long time ago. I think the price point is, I don't know what people expect mm. to spend on shoes here. I know, this is why I'm There's like, a, what's yeah. Ali's expensive? But, yeah, I, Ali I'm drives like, an Aston I'm Martin, <laughs> let's just be clear. I'm, I'm wearing... Um, I'm in a Fiat Punto. I don't Alexandra have a McQueen's. Yes. I think they're a they're lot, cheap, they're a lot cheaper they? than yeah. these. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, think, I think around the 120 mark. Okay, 120,000 <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> pounds. <laughs> sure, okay. Um, um, the jeans were from Marks and Spencers. Nice. And I chopped off the bottom of them. God, you can do it all DIY over here. Yeah, so I always find that when you're coming in summer months, if you're gonna wear some jeans with flip-flops, yeah. it's like really nice about a, a raw edge yeah, on the base. Yeah. So I just got my scissors, I worked out where I wanted them to cut, yeah. which is normally at the top of my ankle, mm -hmm. snipped across, and then just run your yeah. scissors around them and give yeah. them a little bit of a, like a rough edge. So yeah, they're, they're m and T-shirt Zara, yeah. and then the sunglasses are from Cutler and Gross, and then I had a necklace on which was from Serge Denim, yeah. uh, which is Oliver Proudlock's brand, brand. Yes. Um, with the feather 
which is just sort of like keeping the continuity. Mm. And again, I had a uh, bracelet on, yes. which is from Monica Vinida. Yes, you know yeah, yeah. Um, nice. Really lovely bangle, and then a Datejust watch, which yeah. has the gold and silver. What do you call Datejust? Yes. Okay, what brand's that? Rolex. Rolex. I okay. knew you, you were going to ask that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what brand's that? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep that one quiet. This third look is quite the departure for you. Something totally different. For sure. I'd, when you when you messaged me and said, I want you yeah. to bring three looks uh, and, and share some of mm -hmm. your style choices, I wanted to talk about wearable fashion, clothes yeah. that I actually pick up. Yeah. Um, I could definitely have turned up with three of my favorite outfit looks, mm -hmm. but this third look definitely is a look that I wear a lot. Yeah. I do a fair amount of traveling for work. Um, when I'm at home working in the office, I'd love to tell you that I put on that lovely suit, mm. uh, but I don't. No. I stick on some joggers, some casual outfit clothes that I'm really, really comfortable in. I purchased the trainers which are the balenciaga mm -hmm. runners um about six months ago um so not that long ago yeah but i've got such great wear out of them i wanted a trainer that i could wear really comfortably on mm. a flight i don't know if it's just me but sometimes when i fly yeah i get a little bit swollen yeah that's yeah a natural yeah. thing yeah sometimes i find that with leather trainers they can be quite restricting mm. after a flight so i wanted these these are sock trainers yeah um, really super comfortable um, and I'd say that they're very fashionable at the moment mm -hmm. I'm sure that some of you guys will have an opinion about the Balenciaga <laughs> runners <laughs> but I've really enjoyed wearing them mm -hmm. and I think that moving on to the joggers yes um, it's really important to have the right trousers mm. with the shoes and I think that goes pretty much throughout absolutely yeah um, they can really showcase that shoe in many different mm -hmm. lights yeah. and i feel like with the sock style of shoe whether they're the diors or the balenciagas mm -hmm. whatever they are i feel like you need a really tight it's tailored tailored. Leg. yeah they're a, a great go-to pair yeah. of joggers I actually only three pairs for those joggers really yeah okay because god forbid i go without a pair of, of joggers I mean, it, what would it, happen it could, it could be the end of the world absolutely so whilst one washing got the other yeah. one in i'm glad you said you washed them that's yeah that's <laughs> especially on a long well, haul flight on. getting off absolutely stinking <laughs> next to this one yeah oh, and then um i paired it up today with a white t-shirt yes i couldn't have you in here without asking about your grooming um, you are a very well presented guy. You obviously take yeah. care of yourself. You've got an, like enviable facial hair. I thank you like, very with, much. With Timothy, I was just like, your facial hair is amazing, it's phenomenal. and yours yeah. is equally. I mean, not equally. No, no, let's no, no, be honest. no, no. Tim is it's smashing good. the facial hair out there. Yeah, yeah. But He's you, a ten out of ten. He is a ten out of ten. <laughs> um, but do you do certain things? Like, how often do you have to like trim? Do you have certain tools you use? So, I I do trim my beard. Yeah, weekly. Okay. I like to do it weekly, so um, I obviously go and see my barber weekly also yeah. because I'm sporting a very short hairstyle. Nice, so you go to, uh, once a week to your barber? Once a week, yeah. Quite efficiently as yeah, well. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the style of hair, right? Yeah. You, you can, you, you've, you're a scissor cut guy. That's it, a, when you've got a, a fade, trimmer. you have to have it all the whole time. I went to a, an event and someone said, you know, if the fade went out of fashion, barbers would be in trouble. I agree. Because you've got to go yeah, in like hair go four you. weeks. So yeah. once a week on the hair. So I go once a week on the hair and whilst I go for my haircut, my barber will help shake my beard. Yeah. Okay. So for me, I get away with just using a multi-grooming tool. Yes. So at the moment I'm using the Series 3 Pro Skin from Braun and then I use a three millimeter clipper head yeah. just to tidy up and give an overall yeah. length. So it's quite short, Yeah. Quite like a stubble look. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to mix it up and have something either longer, bushier, a moustache? Yeah, no, I have, you know. I, I've really wanted to play a little bit around with length. And yeah. last year I started to grow my beard yeah. and I just don't think I suited it. It yeah. just made me feel like my face was getting bigger. Um, it was changing the shape of my face. I don't feel like it complemented my face. Okay. Um, I absolutely love beards i think they're yeah. awesome and i think it's the same i feel the same with tattoos as well which yeah. i know i'm going a little bit off piece no, here right. do you have any but tattoos no, no i don't and i love them i just see guys i'm just like damn you just look so cool yeah. but i don't think i could i could pull them off and it's the same with the beard i think you'd look amazing with a tattoo just across your face <laughs> and what about hair products do you have like certain products that you like to use yeah i do for yeah. sure and uh, you have been a huge inspiration of my hair routines across yeah. the years 
but recently I have really stripped it right back. Yeah. So when I'm traveling, I just spray. Okay. And I know you're like, whoa, 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 hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> when you say just spray, what do you mean? I just use hairspray. A hairspray, okay. Um, what hairspray do you use? So I've actually had one of these with me. We know this. Yeah, for many years, and I know that you are a strong yeah. believer in this, is the Silver Crin. Yeah, Silver Crin by Weller. Strength 5. Yeah. The pink yeah. spray because it has the best hold in a hairspray that I've it, ever it had. It is mega hold and it's it is hold. so cheap. I run the comb back yeah. with a hairdryer to follow mm -hmm. and essentially, I guess in a way, it's kind of like volumizing and shaping. Yeah. Sh shaping? Yeah. Straightening your hair almost. Yeah. It elongates you're directing the hair. It. Yeah. So when the hair is wet, it's more malleable, yeah. plus the heat, you're yeah. able to move that hair into where it wants to be. Exactly. So without any product, mm. I've already created that shape that yes. I'm going for using the hair dryer and the comb. And then I just fix that with the spray. Okay. Yes. I actually use a clay, okay. which you'll be pleased to hear about. Um, this is clay. the Mr. Burberry clay. Yes. Any other sort of products you use? What about skincare? Do you have sort of key things? At the moment, I'm just using a moisturizer, which is La Mer Creme de la Mer yeah. moisturizer, which I think is like a really iconic moisturizer yeah. for them. It's, yeah. I did a video once on me using this, and apparently I use far too much. Ali, that, that product is so expensive, so you, you only need like a slither. But your skin is so it's important. So important. In the video I did with James Welsh, who yes. uh, you know, about Korean skincare, which I'm sure many of you have seen, if not, give it a watch. He was also talking yeah. about sort of lots of guys go to the gym so often, look after their bodies. Yeah. But why wouldn't you spend 45 minutes, maybe a bit extreme, yeah. but why wouldn't you spend time on your skin and also with money? So, but again, finding something that works for you, be it a great yeah. 70, 80 pound t-shirt or an amazing skincare product that yeah. makes you feel good, makes you feel confident. I think that's the whole thing with fashion and in grooming. Yeah. It's about how it physically makes you feel, okay. which I think changes quite a lot in life. But thank cool. you very much for coming in. No, thank you very much for having me. It's been a pleasure. I've enjoyed watching the series so far. Yes, so. it has been very enjoyable. And I know that a lot of guys have been watching it too and enjoying it. So I'll link all of your sort of social, your YouTube oh, channel, you so much. everyone can come across. And actually, Alec, I should say, I said to Timothy uh, in the other video that I want him to come in and have a cut in the chair, which you guys Ooh, can't see, it's over here. Yes. So I want you to come yes. with your barber. We'll see this sort of weekly cut, yeah. how you get this hair, and we can also get you into the styling products. That'd be amazing. You're up for it. I'm 100% up for that. That'd be we fantastic. will get that sorted. But thank you again. Also, thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this, if you're not yet pressed subscribe, then hit it. <laughs> hit subscribe right now. The button is there. Push there. There. Yeah, that's it. So, some more video suggestions there. Stay with me and watch them. I link to the blog, social, including Ali's YouTube channel up there. Thank you very much. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Peace.